its tiny part of the Getty story. And the Gettys have been implicated um, by an ex-CIA um, agent um, in child trafficking, in um, involving the Getty Center in uh, Los Angeles. Um, and, you know, I take Q's posts to be large scale, like, you know, kind of bring it out, bring it out, bring it out, bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Let's talk about reality for a moment. The Earth is flat. Half of the helicopters we see flying in the sky are really fallen angels disguised as helicopters. UFOs are really fallen angels disguised as UFOs. We've been invaded by alien greys since 1920. impregnated humans, they planted their babies into families to the CIA, they've taken over our government at the top, now they're down on our level with, as doctors, lawyers, homeless people that are really hybrids, reptilian human hybrids, that can talk to each other through telepathy. They're like the Borg on Star Trek. They have a plot to take over the entire Earth world domination. Doctors and dentists are putting space alien implants inside of patients. The logo for CERN is 666. Should I say more? They were here. They were here four or five thousand years ago. They did the same thing. God sent a flood and destroyed them. He said, next time I'm going to burn them. I'm going to burn them with fire. Coming back is fire. And they haven't learned. Because they're back again and they're doing the same thing to mankind. Now you got the government running gang stalking programs. Using the taxpayers money. Billions of dollars going into these black ops programs. Killing American citizens. Terrorizing American citizens. Just completely running amok violating every crime you could think of and people actually believe that Trump has actually fixed up the system well no I'm sorry I disagree now if this was a movie then the aliens would win I mean if you put they live invasion of the body snatchers and the arrival those three movies together, you got reality. There's one thing that's in their way. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, they'll get their one world order for a short time. And in seven years, God returns with all the angels. Planet Earth is destroyed. The sun burns out. Actually, before he shows up, this is how, how cool, this part's cool. It's scary, but cool. The sun loses its light. The stars lose their light. Everything gets dark. It just goes out. That's what the Bible says. And suddenly, it's bright because that's God and the angels showing up. It's almost like he lowers the light for his entrance and then suddenly he's this big old bright, brilliant light. Everything melts, the earth becomes a dark void and if you're a Christian, you get a brand new body, you go up to meet him, we go to heaven for a thousand years as the earth is a dark void.
The tribulation begins with a peace treaty in the Middle East. So it's not the tri we're, not, we're not in the tribulation yet. We are entering it. We're getting close to the beginning of it. And I bet you within two to four years it begins. The hybrid sacrificed more children to the devil like they did 5,000 years ago. They're doing the same thing they did before. Nothing new under the sun. Last time they got them killed. Well, their bodies died and they were cursed on the earth to walk the earth, to wander the earth as demons. Hungry and craving all the flesh, all the fleshful things that the flesh craves, yet being starved from it because they were spirits. I think 80%, 90% of them were sent to the abyss. Sacrifice children to Satan. You got the Pizza Gate crew getting away. Still waiting for Trump to make a move. I believe there's two things that'll bring this corruption down to the ground. So, like I said, I'm going to show you step by step this week how to put a website up how to get an online store going, link your website to an online store, get a don donation page going, that's two, so you can sell things on your online store, uh, get donations, also get a P.O. box so you can get uh, people to send in money through the snail mail because the Illuminati could manipulate uh, PayPal to an extent. Uh, third, if you can sing, you can make some songs, some poetry, some poems, make a short film, um, you could, put, you could put that on your website and uh, ask for like a $2 donation or ask them just to pay for it. A dollar for a poem or 25 cents for a poem. Have 100 poems, maybe 25 cents each. Uh, maybe a CD. Uh, you know, there's all these different things you can sell on top of merchandise, donations. Um, so you got the donations. You can put AdSense on your website. It's two. You can have an online store linked to, to your website, like eBay and Amazon, and put stuff like, you know, you really want to, sorry, but you want, you want to target women because women actually are the biggest consumers. You can uh, have makeup, boots, just things that women want to buy. Um, and then you can also have a short film, songs, poetry, or all of the above. And then when you have everything set up on your website, what you would do is you would go door to door to door and you can do it two ways. You can either leave flyers on the door, on the doorknob, or, in, or an insert inside the door, uh, between the screen door and the door. Or you can even talk to the person and say, hi, my name's so-and-so, uh, this is uh, my website here, and I'm, and I'm a flyer. Say, I will you know, appreciate it if you just stop on by and say hello. Uh, thanks for your time, have a nice day. And then when you get real people going to your website, It'll link them to YouTube, to your channel. You'll get real views. You'll get donations through Patreon. Um, Patreon's a service where people can support you. Um, they, can they can download your material, your short films, your songs, your poems. Help for the cause. Uh, or go to your online store. And then all this can be used to grow as a truther and then put it back in and grow some more, put it back in, grow some more. Pretty soon you'll be able to hire people and get maybe crews going around putting flyers out for you and your website will be a big success. Because um, truthers out there that are really serious about exposing this evil, you need to make a nice income. You can make a nice income online if you are creative. So I'll do a step-by-step -step video this week or next week and I also want to do a quick documentary on uh, what happened to me as a gang stalk victim? I've been a gang stalk victim since I was 10 years old, possibly four years old, but 10 years old confirmed. 
Um, so I'm going to go to all the different things that were right in front of my face that I didn't even see. People coming inside my apartment when I was asleep. It's crazy stuff. But yeah, as truthers, we need to make an income so we can actually raise awareness and not have to deliver pizzas or flip someone's burgers and then you come home and you're exhausted, you don't want to make a video. We have to expose these thugs for what they're doing. I believe gang stalking and Pizzagate are the two big ones that's going to raise awareness and get people's attention. People don't like creep sacrificing small kids to Satan and people, Americans are not going to sign off on a secret police program that's spying on their wife, spying on their kids, spying on them in general and uh, you know breaking into people's homes, shooting people with weapons. All this stuff will bring this criminal government down to the ground and off into jail. So uh, thanks for watching. God bless you all. I'm going to cut it short now. Um, but I want to get that information out to you really soon. And, and hey, I'm new at it too, but I'm telling you, uh, there's people out there that care and they don't know what's going on. And when they find out what's going on, it's going to really help the cause. I have to add this really quick. MUFON did a popular study. Their, their study said that whenever someone's abducted by aliens, by UFOs, and they cry out for Christ, the abduction immediately stops. And that makes sense why the Illuminati is spending trillions of dollars with the, uh, the Gideon Bible, the New World, or, uh, New World Translation. They're financing all the new Bibles taking out scripture only pertaining to Jesus Christ and his deity. And the reason is, is because they know there's power with, through, through Christ. So these aren't uh, aliens from Zana 9.3. These are fallen demonic beings that when you re rebuke them in the name of Christ, or you even ask Christ, God the Father, to help you to send them away in His Son's name, then these, these uh, demonic spirits go running for their lives. And that's what they don't want you to know. That's some serious information. That's your spiritual gun. That's the power you got as a human. Um, last time the hybrids were here was before Christ came. So now when they're here this time, it's a different uh, ball game. We have a lot more authority than we had last time through Christ. But the, the difference is this time they look more like you and me and they're among the public. There's probably millions and millions of hybrids out there. I mean, I've, I know well, there's possibly 10 to 13 of them. They're, 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 they're everywhere. They're mingling with everybody. This is reality. This is what's going on in America. This is what's going on. So, um, you know, I, I have reasons why through the Holy Spirit, why I uh, won't go any further than that. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, God is hoping that some hybrids get redeemed. But really, it's it's going to be up to, you know, if they're willing to stop hurting humans, stay with their own kind, and stop hurting animals, and that we yet to see. God bless you all. Thanks for watching.